Yeah, we're near a wreck. What is this? This concludes the basic tutorial. All this information much more can be accessed in the help menus between F1 and F5. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Hey guys, and welcome to Planet Nomads. The Planet Nomads released earlier this year in 2019 out of early access into a full release and I don't think I ever played it really. I knew about it, I bought it at the time, or I don't know, somehow it ended up in my library. But I never really played it. I have zero hours played on it. And it has open world, it has survival, it has sandbox, and building, and sci-fi. So, I don't know why I haven't checked this out before. So we're gonna have a first look at it in this video, and then we'll see if you guys want to see more, and if I'm having fun playing it. And we'll go from there. Anyway, Planet Nomads, let's get started. In 2065, mankind discovered unknown technology that enabled interstellar travel. Humans were finally able to explore near stars. Years later, scientists received strange, inexplicable signals from the constellation Eridanus. Somebody else might be reading this much better. <laughs> Research suggested existence of nearby exoplanets possibly capable of sustaining organic life. Ooh. I mean, given the title is Nomad, I'm assuming we're gonna be alone. In 2087 commercial vessel, Anita enters Eradina's system searching for exoplanets and blah, blah, blah. However, destruct anomalies damage the ship and survivors are forced to escape. Oh, survivors? Oh, there could be more than one. I mean, Nomad usually means like you, you, you have no home, you're, you're constantly on the move, isn't it? It doesn't mean you're alone necessarily. I don't know, I have no idea. Hibernation recovery complete. Susan! Welcome back. My name is Joy and I am Susan. your AI advisor integrated within your suit. Please leave the stasis chamber. Okay, but can I call you Susan? An energy surge of unknown origin has shut down the ship's okay. stabilizers. Okay, let's get used to the control. WASD. And I also had to change the FOV. I think I had it set to 90, but I think 70 works much better. So here we go, which is also what I'm using in 7 Days to Die, I believe. But let's see. WASD to walk around. Okay, what do we have to do? Proceed. This looks all really fancy. I like it. Crouch under. Okay. Oh. You are the only successfully awakened technician on board with the necessary oh, no. qualifications. The damaged stabilizers must be repaired immediately to prevent the ship's uncontrolled descent into the atmosphere. Okay, Susan, you're scaring me. Why, why am I alone, Susan? Please don't leave me, Susan. My only friend is an AI. To cut away this block, you need to use multi-tools. Press T to equip the multi-tool. Okay. Break down the debris with the right mouse button and continue. Oh, look at that. You can see the inner circle of happiness. There we go. And it's done. Nice. I think on the bottom left we have statistics. We have drink, food, stamina. And we have a Celsius bar. And we have a health bar. Which is at 100. Repair the broken door using the left mouse button. So, okay, so right is destructinate and left is repair. There we go. Press H to holster the multi-tool, okay? Oh, there's something sparkling. That's not good. Ah! I Just... have detected multiple injuries. Please continue to the nearby infirmary. I'm not just injured. I'm <laughs> multiply injured. Okay. Oh, this looks amazing. Look at this. This reminds me of Empyrean. Yes, I've played Empyrean. A lot of people are recommending Empyrean to me over and over. And I actually, I played Empyrean. And I played throughout the whole storyline at the time. I don't know what alpha it was. It was a few alphas ago. And I don't know if they have expanded on the story. But once the story was done, it was amazing. The story was amazing. And it ended in this big, huge alien base. And we finished it. And I don't think there was any more after that. You know, it was pretty much left to yourself then and Sandbox, which is fine, you know. But I did play it. So, reached the infirmary on the other side. So this here seems to be going maybe in a similar vein. We, I mean, we have a story. I mean, we are currently still being told what to do, but it could be just an intro. I have no idea. I do li like when these games have, like, similar to Minecraft, like a story you can play through, 
and then you're on your own. And I wish Seven Days to Die would have that, like, you know, some target story, end game, which you can reach, and then you can decide if you want to continue or not. The, your biometrics in the left bottom of the visor shows you're hurt. To fix this, fix this, open the inventory. Okay, that is one thing we have to immediately fix. Uh, controls. We have inventory. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where's the eye? Inventory. Tab. <laughs> okay. Thank you. There we go. Nice. Okay, drag and drop bandages from your inventory to the slots on the hotbar. You can hover over items for more info. Left alt, move 50% of items. Left control, left shift, move 100 items. Oh, you still have to drag them though. Okay, so fair enough. Can we double click? Yes, we can. Okay, double clicking moves as well. Press tab. I like the way, look at this. Press tab to close the inventory. It recognized my key change, my control change. That's amazing. Press hotbar one to zero to use a banish and heal yourself. Okay. Life function stabilized. Okay. To leave the infirmary, use the maintenance shaft at the end of the room. Okay, this looks broken. Excellent. So we're safe. Fly up to the door with spacebar. Okay. Oh, I love that. Activate jetpack. Ow! Activate jetpack secondary hover mode by pressing U. Okay. Oh, you only activated it. That is cool. Okay, can I go down? Can I go down? Oh, I can. It's control. Okay, that is really awesome. What is going on here? Proceed through the maintenance tunnel to the garage. To the garage. Garage? Okay, that seems to be some kind of power system. That's pretty awesome. Oh! Hull integrity at 63%. Oh, that's not good. That's very, Electrical that's very bad integrity. Overloaded. Okay, Please go. Please be careful when working with high voltage Press circuits. C. Okay, connect electricity. Okay. Oh, nice. That's how you connect things. Okay, C. Oh. And connect the door. And connect the light. Oh, Genie Mac taking my eyeballs out. Leave the connectivity mode by pressing right mouse. Okay. So now can we go through? Yes. Okay, that's nice. To continue, you need to restore the energy in this section. Okay. Both the local generator and backup battery were discharged 131 days ago. Wow. To cut away this block, you need a multi-tool. Okay, we're pressing T for the multi-tool. We have to cut away this block. This battery is no longer good. There we go. Use the components to craft a new battery. So we have the components. Now we have to craft a battery. Press B. Oh, okay, there it is. Use your mouse to drag the battery to the hotbar. Okay. Close the okay catalog. Oh, I get it now. Yeah, okay, well, we might as well put it back where we found it. To hide the block, press H or equip a tool by pressing T. There we go. And now, I suppose, left mouse to build it because left was repair. Yeah, okay. So now, connect. Okay. Leave the connection mode by pressing right mouse, okay. Open container. Oh, look at that. Open the container by pressing E and take out the uranium by dragging with your mouse or double clicking. Okay, double clicked it. Okay, you know, I pressed escape, I didn't press E. To make fuel, open the refinery by pressing E, okay. Drag the uranium to the refinery top inventory slot. Okay, so that is... Oh, right. Okay, okay. So this is the blueprint. We want to have enriched uranium and we want to craft it. According to available records, the ship's propulsion system started deteriorating after it reached the planet's orbit and eventually all control over its movement was lost. Okay. Individual systems gradually failed and the integrity of the hull was damaged in the front section of the ship. Thank you, Susan. The last record from the black box indicates that the captain attempted an unsuccessful manual course correction. That never goes well. Then the captain separated the cargo and colonization parts of the ship to protect them from the imminent explosion of the bridge. What a hero. Enrich uranium. So we have enriched uranium now. Put it in here. Okay, now I pressed E. I'm, I'm playing the game's rules. What do we have here? Open this. Oh, excellent. Double click this. Excellent. Look at this. We are getting fuel. Beautiful. 80 watt. This is only lasting for six hours. Energy it's uranium. It should last for a year. Been restored. Okay, energy has been restored. Brilliant. Okay, let's go. So this is a nice little intro to how the crafting systems work. And oh, open workstation. Oh, wow. Okay, what am I? All the required materials are already in the printer. 
You just need to print a set of composite parts MK1. Okay. I don't know what this means here, but okay. Print finished, take everything and close E. How do I take everything? This is close. Okay, we're just gonna double click everything because I don't know if there's a take all or something. Now open the building plug menu. Drag the cockpit to your hotbar. Nice. Okay. Mm, okay, finish the vehicle. Oh, look at that. Can we rotate? Yes. Oh, that's brilliant. Place the cockpit on the red surface on the vehicle. Aim and press left. Okay. And now build it. Oh, this is cool. Release the vehicle by cutting the block that's holding it. Okay. There we go. We're cutting it. We're cutting it. Bam. Look at that. Nice. Enter the vehicle by pressing E. Okay. Can we drive? Oh, we can drive it. The vehicle is controlled by AWSD. WASD, drive all the way to the end Bionita of the tunnel. Bionita is carrying the active crew and exactly 10,000 colonists to their new home. Wow. The objective of this expedition is to establish a research and mining colony. The main goal of the Congenia Technological Consortium is to establish a self-sufficient community and a safe trade route back to Earth. Ow. Can we take the components with us? Is that something we should do? I don't know. I mean, would it help? Do I need it again? Can I take it apart? Can I get components back? Oh, I can't. It won't let me. Oh. Oh, there we go. Look at this. I, can take I don't know if I'm breaking the game right now. But did I get the materials? Oh, tell me if I got... I got the materials! Oh, let's take everything apart. Can I take anything else apart? That would be amazing if I can get all the materials. And by the time I actually crash land, I'm the richest person on the planet. No, that's not working. That's not working. All right, okay. So, but we got some materials. That's cool. I probably need it again in a minute. And then it's like, uh Game broken. Okay, the stable will take you to the ship stabilizer. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Go to the 3D printer and open it. It contains everything you need. All you have to do is print a set of quantum electronic parts. Okay, quantum electronic parts. State-of-the-art component for items and blocks. Construction used mostly in active blocks. Okay, we need two whatever that is. What is that actually? That's xenite, silver, and gold. Wow, xenite looks fancy. Okay, let's craft it. Okay, craft. Stabilizers failing. Oh. Hull integrity at 38%. Okay, Susan. If you have no good news, then Ships don't share any news. show that the main stabilizing generators were put out of commission by an energy wave of extraterrestrial origin. The epicenter of this wave is located directly on the planet's surface. There's aliens in this game? No, that would be awesome. Because given the title, Planet Nomad, I would have expected there's just us, you know, trying to survive. Okay, can we take it? Do we get it? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna take everything. I'm gonna take everything with me, I don't care. <laughs> okay, let's repair the generator. Brilliant. Connect the fixed generator to the grid. Open the radial menu by pressing C. Okay. Oh, which radio is there? C? Okay, excellent. It's connected to the grid. We all grid it up. Backup generators offline. Please insert fuel cells. Okay, please insert fuel cells. So let's go here. And is that... Oh, no, that's a bandage. And deuterium, deuterium, and enriched uranium. Pick enough deuterium for both reactors. Okay, so... Okay. I pressed escape again. I'm such a rebel. Okay, fill the generator. Open. Okay, close the generator. Ship stabilizers online. Uncontrolled descent terminated. Oh no. Oh Flight yes! Flight path optimized. We saved it! Pay attention to information about your current status at the bottom left. 
You'll see the icons representing your current... Oh, there's radiation. Fly up and leave the area. Radiation oh. levels increasing. Please leave the area. Ow. Come on. Thank you. Yes, that's not good. I'm like sitting there crying Radiation myself. levels normal. <laughs> Unable to establish connection with the main computer. To receive mission update, you will have to link to the main AI core manually. Please proceed to the rear of the ship. Okay, I will do. Susan, we're gonna hook up. Ah! Ship hull damaged. Your suit is not designed for vacuum conditions. The hermetically sealed door cannot be opened because of safety protocols. Okay. Unable to find an alternative route. The surrounding rooms are hermetically sealed. Oh! Safety protocol failing. Door safety Susan. lock damaged. Save me! Decompression of this section is imminent. To continue the mission, you must leave the ship. Please use an escape pod. Warning. Okay, Oxygen Susan. levels dropping. I enjoyed our time together, Susan. But I have to bid you goodbye. Escape pod launched. I will always remember you as a hero. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. I can't see anything. There's no windows, nothing. I don't even know. Maybe I'm going underwater. That would be terrifying. Can you imagine? Oh. Okay. New objective. Find crew. Nice. So we're not going to be alone. Check your data pad for more information. You may open your journal by pressing JJ. There we go, look at that, we have a journal. Story mode, find crew. Find the lost crew from Anita. Sensors detected a signal of survivors at approximate location in 600 meter radius. Find a scan tool at the location and collect important data about survivors. The data about the missing crew can be obtained by scanning black boxes, emergency beacons. Hopefully we can find somebody. There's no side missions, nothing. Okay, let's go. And how do we go? <laughs> oh, we're out! We're out. Yes. Before exploring or building a shelter, locate and open E, the emergency container. It should be somewhere around the escape pod. Okay. Here we go. Ah, our inventory is empty. Actually, it didn't matter how much we took with us. Um, okay. The biometrics in the left bottom of the visor shows you are hungry and thirsty. To fix this, open the inventory with tap. Hang on a second. Can we take this apart? We can. Is that extra resources? Okay. I don't know if we got resources for that or not, but hey ho. We'll see. Eat and drink. Okay. Can I actually right click this and use it? Yes. You are in a well fed state. Good hydration secure. Nice. Okay. And we're healing anyway, so which is good. So we're healing up ourselves. So what now? Should we destroy that and take the resources with us or will we leave that? I don't know. I have no idea. Can we change the terrain? Doesn't look like it. Okay, so let's check our journal. Find the crew. Find a scanner. Okay, we have to find a scanner. There should be a scanner hopefully around here. 500 meters. There's something ahead, 500 meters. I don't know what it is. We have a map. Oh, look at this. So we can actually see. What is this? A man-made wreck. Okay, but what is closest to us? This is our pod. And this is a man-made wreck. And what is this? An alien wreck. Ooh. Okay. So let's go behind us. Because that is... Oh, this is 300 meters away. So let's go here. Oh, look at that. Is this resources? Can we get resources from this? Oh, that's repairing it. Sorry, let's see if we can take it apart. Oh, we can! That is amazing. Oh, there we go. Electronical part, plating, MK1, mechanical parts. Oh, this is so cool. I don't know why it shows up left and right. I'm very confused right now. But this is amazing. So we get resources by taking things apart. That's only because I played Imperion before and you can destroy your own pod or you used to anyway. So I don't know, maybe we can right click our pod as well. I don't know if I should. No, I can't, it won't let me. Okay, so it's dummy proof. Okay, so before I pick up any more, because I do have any more room. Yeah, I'm, I'm starting to run out of room already, so. What is this? Can I pick any of these up? 
Oh. I destroyed it. I don't think I picked anything up. Yeah, I just destroyed it. Press M to open the world map. Show your position and position of all POIs on planets. You can build radars to map your surroundings and discover more POIs. Well, we're gonna go to this ship first. I have no idea what to do next. Well, it says find the crew, so can, can I left click on any of that? Oh, I can. Oh, look at that. We got some biomass containers. That is cool. What about trees? Okay, what do they give me? More biomass. And can I get more? Oh, look at that. Oh. <laughs> I keep I keep getting more and more, even though it's rolling down a hill. Okay, let's go to the spaceship rocket and see what that is all about. This planet looks really cool. It's very colorful. Oh, look at that. I forgot we can actually fly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We only have a certain amount of power. Okay, that ship, oh, it's 300 meters. It's definitely further than I thought. What is this type of tree? Oh, it's still only... Oh! Okay, let's not touch it anymore. What about the stone? What is that? Oh, look at that. We got carbon, silicon, and iron. Our inventory is so full right now. Let's see what we have here. So here's my POIs. Oh, wow. Okay, this is like the other side of the planet. Rex. Yeah, we're near a wreck. What is this? This concludes the basic tutorial. All this information much more can be accessed in the help menus between F1 and F5. Oh, ow, 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 ow. I will destruct you. That was not nice. Right in the face. So what do we have to do? Let's, let's find out what we have to do with the ship. Hopefully we can... Oh, look at there. There's an animal. Hey, you. Look, they're like, they're like cows. Oh, there's these stupid flies again. Hey, you. Hello. You look so funny. Ah. Oh, what is this? Oh, I can gather it. Whoa, fruitage. I like the way they're not called fruit. They're called fruitage. Okay, we have to go to our to that ship whatever that may be oh i can see something there look at that there seems to be a vehicle and some type of base okay we have a stamina bar actually around us i'm only seeing it now this is amazing does that is that does that belong to someone okay if i press f1 okay look at that survival mode Oh, look at this. It actually has hints and tips. So survival mode. Get food. Look for bushes, trees with fireflies. Aim with crosshair. Hold and gather. Obtain fruitage. Okay. Eat and drink. Yeah, okay. We can eat and drink, which is grand. Take rests. Locate escape pods or build stasis chambers. Press and hold to enter. So we have to go back to our pod to sleep. Look for rocks with metal veins in them. Use multi-tools to mine resources. Craft items from resources in a 3D printer. Okay. Block catalog. Tab. Enable build vision to see setup of blocks. Open block building catalog. So I think I just overwritten that. Oh no. Did I not? Oh, resources, equipable, supplies, all. Okay. What is this? A wreck beacon? Okay. No idea what to make of any of this. Oh, this is like a half base. Oh, what is this? It's a bio generator. Energy consumption. But it's not working. All right, so I've been looking around a little bit and cleaning up the base. So we can actually use our multi-tool and clean up the dirt, which is really, really cool. So you can actually see the rest of whatever this is, what we actually have here. Look at that, that's amazing. Oh, it's getting nighttime as well. Now, I have a sleeping bag, so I'm not sure if we can sleep through the night, but I did like the idea of cleaning up everything here and see what we're actually working with. And we can also repair the ship. So if we do things like that, we don't seem to... Oh, not enough resources? Okay, so we do need resources. I didn't realize that. Can we repair this? No. Some of these things, we don't need resources and they just seem to repair. Because I'm assuming they're just a little bit only broken. 
there we go look at that so is this like a spaceship or something so this is the official entrance door okay i get it let's close it and i suppose we can close this excellent so all we really need then is to close this but i think for the moment this will do can we put our sleeping bag down i put all our resources in here everything i was uh, i found i put into here and our raw material resources that i found like the carbon and the silicon and iron i put into here i don't know what to use exactly for what but our storyline objectives have changed we now um have some steps that we uh, completed find a scanner use secondary pull scan scan beacons to collect the data about anita's crew find more data parts at human wreck sites and crystallize is missions where we have carbon okay find the purpose of the strange thing in crystal shaped protuberances on the planets scans will reveal an information about the planet's origin okay monumental scan 10 times scan alien monuments okay so we have some missions here that we can follow and they're all main storyline missions which is really really good egg hunt oh they're all alien eggs okay so when we actually scanned everything here with our scanner let me just right click again there we go look at that that is intense can we even see that actually no, we can't. So this is our pod. We can always go back to our pod. There was a lot of resources there, which I'm probably going to have to get. But look at all these icons. I don't even know what they mean. That means resources, the question marks. I don't really know. The green is food. No scannable target. Can we scan things like the trees or something, get information about them? No. And what about this? Oh, look at that. We can scan it. Okay. New reward, a jack tool. Check block catalog for more information. Oh, that is awesome. So because we scanned it, we know now how to use it or do it. Okay, is there anything here? Okay, let's just right click a ping here. So I have no idea how far anything or everything is away. There's no distance and they don't show up on the map here. So I'm not really sure exactly. Um, oh, look at that monuments. There's a monument nearby, alien POI, Rex. Yeah, I would say let's stick with the Rex. And when they're talking about data parts, basically there is some data parts we found in here. So there is Terry Epitaph, data part containing the last word of Anita. So I wonder if we can read that. Um, okay, let's put it into our inventory and then drag it down and see if we can use it. Oh, yes, look at that. Data part. From Terry John to Parks Daniela. Danny, I wouldn't worry about that. Preliminary scans show we can offload cargo near the main monument in sector B2A as planned. I'm going to have to set up some equipment to pinpoint the location of other monuments. Setting up data links for the science teams will take some time. I expect phase one to begin in 48 hours. We need the DNA data ASAP. Ooh, whoops. Then hand it to the boff boffins. I'm sure they'll go along nicely, but I'm taking Lyra's just in case. Subsequent debriefing with Maynard himself. Let's get it done and you won't have to worry about it. There's a, oh, okay. And there's another data pad. I don't know if they're all different stories or the same, but let's check it out. Okay, impact. Oh, look at that log one and log two. Recon Team Falcon 1, Pilot Log 2, Terry. So far, so good. Entering atmosphere with minor disturbances, but it's under control. ETA 2 minutes. Radiation in check. Should be smooth sailing from now. What the alarm warning cockpit. Parks, we lost shoes in both engines. How is that possible? Shields are fried too fast. Danny, praise for impact. Okay, so these guys had also issues landing. Epilogue. They said it was safe, that the test landed before. Danny, is sh she's dead. I can't find Demers. I'm not gonna... Where's the goddamn thing? Here you go. Your final report to the cleanup team or the army or whoever gets this. It was a hoax, a big joke. No colonization mission. No way. We're supposed to colonize here for mining colony. There was a special order rerouting Anita's emergency communications. There's no resource rescue, no backup plan. We're done. Maynard has been planning this for years. I think he's more interested in the DNA altering than the portals. It would be a breakthrough. Patents, army contracts, bioweapons, you name it. I just can't fathom why I did all these things for him. And what for nothing. Whoa. Okay, so there's definitely some huge things going on. That is amazing. Objective completed. Terry's story. That is amazing. So find the crew. Let me see. There we go. Finish objectives. Terry's story. Very good. I like it. National Geographic. Print and build. Build and weld an emergency printer. 
yeah this is things that we definitely have to do i have to play around with some of the features i don't know yet exactly how to build everything i also have to make sure that i didn't override anything my tab button had earlier access to because i think one of the descriptions indicated the tab was meant for something else but we'll see anyway i'm gonna leave this first episode here i hope you guys enjoyed it i'm definitely gonna be playing this a little bit more because i want to figure out more about the game and the story and actually also how it all works how we built the base i have no idea yet how we even build things properly so we're gonna have a look at that but i hope you had a good time if you did remember to kick that like button in the balls and i hope i see you guys in the next episode and if you're new to the channel and you like what you see hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time until then as always feel spaß and happy gaming